Hey, welcome to another exciting episode of Catching Up with the Crawfords in partnership with the Crawford Property Group. I am Booney Crawford, and today we have a very special guest, Mr. Tyler Deaver, who is the General Manager and Director of Golf at the Johnson City Country Club. So stay right there, and here's Tyler. Tyler, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today about our wonderful club here. Uh, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. This is great. Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> we've been coming here probably since uh, 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been members here for a long time. And we had a short stint where we moved away. But when we came back, we, we had to get back on board again. So mm -hmm. we love it here. But for those who are watching, could you just talk a little bit about maybe the history and the traditions of uh, the Johnson City Country Club? Sure. Yeah. Uh, the history of this club is, is the best thing, the biggest asset for this club. So in 1913, a, a, a group of guys got together and, and created a social club not too far away from here. Um, and after a few years, they decided they wanted to expand the club. So they purchased this land and hired a very well-known golf architect, A.W. Tillinghast, to come in and, and build him a nine-hole golf course. And from there, it evolved into a 12-hole golf course and then an 18-hole golf course. From there, the amenities continued to grow. and um, We have a full-service country club now, but it was based on those, those four members that came in and, and uh, they did a tremendous job in making sure that they had the right architect for it, A.W. Tillinghast, to is well known in more in the northeast of of the country and a lot of the golf courses that he's designed are played every year by the pga tour nice uh, probably should have asked you uh, you kind of have a unique role here uh, you you serve a, a dual purpose correct i do i was hired in april 2020 to uh, to take over the golf operations as the head golf professional and then in august of 2022 uh, transitioned into the dual role of, of general manager, COO, and, and director of golf. Uh, you got a, a workload to, to handle there. It is. It, it is a, a tremendous uh, responsibility for me, something that I don't take lightly and um, something I love doing. Obviously, it's a learning opportunity for me for, to further my career, but I hope my career here is um, the last the last career that I have, you know, I want to stay here as long as I possibly can. Mm. Uh, you, you talked a little bit, uh, a little bit about the amenities here, and you talked about the golf course and things like that. Um, probably some of the important things for us was family, mm -hmm. uh, being able to bring the whole family here. Can you talk a little bit about what uh, family-wide? What does the the club have to offer? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, well, as I mentioned, we have an 18-hole golf course. Uh, we have. Uh, clay and hard, and, and hard court tennis courts and an indoor tennis court facility. Uh, we've adapted to the growing sport of pickleball as well, mm -hmm. which is huge for families and, and really kind of uh, um, allowed us to really look into that to see if we need to dedicate more uh, resources to pickleball. We also have a full size uh, pool and a dive well, you know, dive pool with with two diving boards and um, and a and a membership that is very family oriented, so a lot of activities that have to do with uh, all ages. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the social events and and different activities that that the club offers to its members? Absolutely, yeah. The, the club business has changed dramatically. You know, a lot of country clubs are are changing from country clubs to more social clubs. Um, and, and that uh, COVID really kind of did that and um, just new generations coming in. So we have to stay competitive with our social events. Uh, we offer uh, a couple different, a few different types of memberships, but we have some that like to play golf and like to play tennis and take, you know, uh, utilize the sporting aspects of the club. And then we have social, so they're here for more of social events and, and dining. Um, so we have to stay competitive with our social events. And we're also competing with a growing uh, downtown area, Johnson City, which, which obviously offers a lot of social. So, um, you know, we do anything from beer tastings, bourbon tastings, cigar tastings, wine tastings, to 
you know, kids activities like uh, Easter egg hunts, holiday based activities to, uh, you know, we're even thinking about doing a, a Taylor Swift concert <laughs> event for, for uh, the young ladies that are, uh, the Swifties. are, are Taylor <laughs> Swift fans. So it's fun to try to come up with these and get creative. It's also very beneficial that a lot of clubs are, are moving in that direction so that we can benchmark and, and, uh, and look at what they're doing and try to adapt those events to, to make it work for our club. Uh, used to, um, we had reciprocity with, with other places. Does that happen anymore? Is that something that's gone by the way? Or Really, at a lot of clubs, it's gone by the way just due to COVID. A lot of clubs are a lot more active now, so they're not, they're not um, seeking out other clubs to, to utilize unused tea times or, or dining reservations or anything like that. So a lot of clubs have gone away with reciprocity. Even though I think that being a part of a private club um, allows you access at other private clubs, it just may not be for a special price. Hmm. Um, what what would you say uh, separates Johnson City Country Club from, say, other area clubs, whether it's anywhere in the Tri Cities? Sure. Well, I think one right now, what, what I'm looking at is the view that we have from our back terrace. I mean, we're pitched up on a hill. It's a beautiful piece of property. The views that we have um, don't, are, are so much better, in my opinion, than any other club around. The other thing that we have is the history of the club that I spoke to earlier. Um, being the only A.W. Tillinghouse in Tennessee, and really the closest one to here is three hours away in Roanoke, Virginia, or you can go south to Macon, Georgia. So having a golf course that was designed by an architect, not only a famous architect, but an architect that has no other golf course in the state of Tennessee, that's what separates us. Are there any uh, perks or uh, benefits for members that, that you can speak of uh, now? Yeah, just the utilization of the golf club or the, the, the country club itself. I mean, um, our prices are competitive for, for our dining options, for our golf shop options, for our golf course. You get to play a golf course at, at, at uh, a smaller rate um, than you would if you weren't a member. Um, and we don't allow non-member access unless they're accompanied by a member, but... Um, That's including golf and everything. Yeah, yeah, and same thing. with So just access to the facilities themselves for a, for a less expensive rate. Uh, you, you talked a little bit earlier about different kinds of memberships. Can you go into a little bit more in depth about the types of memberships that you're offering right now? Sure, sure. You know, since uh, since I've transitioned and, and really the, the manager that was in place before me, you know, part of our goal was to to offer more with the memberships that we had, but but maybe take away the membership types. I think that we offered a little bit too much, but in order to take away, we needed to make sure that the memberships that we kept were seeing more value in that. So, so currently we have a full membership uh, that off, and, and you get full utilization of tennis courts, unlimited golf, unlimited tennis, pool access, dining access, uh, everything that comes along with that. And we offer that same thing in a junior rate. So if you're 40 years and younger, you get a smaller rate than if you were 41 years and older. Then we have a, a clubhouse or, you know, some folks call that a social, which they get limited golf, they get limited tennis, but they have full access to the pool and full access to, um, to dining. Then we have a tennis membership and they get limited golf, unlimited tennis, and then pool access and dining access. There's also some winter memberships, winter tennis that we have. And then we have a youth membership, which is for 18 years and old, uh, younger, just the youth member, do, uh, no dependents um, attached to that. And they just get golf access. We, um, of course, this, this little vlog that we're doing is uh, one that we call Catching Up with the Crawfords. Mm -hmm. It's uh, something that we try to do just because we want to help support uh, our real estate team mm -hmm. and our real estate team is uh, is the Crawford property group mm -hmm. uh, we're with Keller Williams and one thing that's happening right now is we have a lot of people moving in here from out of state so if uh, people are moving here what would you say to them if they come across this moving to Johnson City what would you say to them about 
hey, come and see us at Johnson City Country Club? I think that um, I would tell them just how special this membership is and how much of a home feel that you get here that you may not get at other clubs. You know, there's a lot of different clubs out there. Some are great, some are good, and some are, um, you know, a, a lot different and maybe not feel as at home or feel as, as uh, friendly as you would here. So we tried to take advantage of that. Um, a lot of members will tell me that, you know, the reason why they're here and not at other places is just how welcome they feel. Um, plus just staying competitive. I mean, if they want to be, uh, to, to grow their, their network or grow their friendships, when, especially when they're moving to town, this is a perfect place to do that and make yourself open to meet new people. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an interesting point. Is there like uh, any kind of like special networking opportunities for businesses and people like that who come here to network with like-minded individuals? Do y'all create things like that or? Sure, I would say informally we do just by having uh, social events or new member socials. We do a new member social on a quarterly basis. But at the same time, we also offer our uh, clubhouse to um, for business events. So we have a lot of local businesses come in, have meetings, have business meetings and um, team meetings. And that's a great way to, to grow the network. What uh, I, I know in times past, you do like uh, membership incentives or growing your membership. Is there anything like that happening now? Or Yeah, currently, I think uh, we're, we're in a position right now where we're, we're trying to be aggressive with with the people coming, with new people coming into Johnson City. So currently this was a, a, a initiative that we had through the winter that we went ahead and continued just because we had a lot of success with it. So if you come here um, and sign up, you get, you have to sign a two year contract, but the initiation fee is only 500. When typically when we uh, started this, the initiation fee was 1500 and actually on its way to move to uh, um, a higher initiation rate than that. You know, we're in a unique position where clubs are growing. We have the opportunity to grow our initiation fee, but we want to take advantage and get as many folks as, in, as we can. Um, so that initiation or that initiative of $500 with a two-year contract has been successful. So we're going to continue that. Okay. Uh, well, Tyler, I appreciate you and appreciate you taking the time to speak with us about our wonderful club here. And um, we always like to end with... Uh, some encouragement you know what would what would you say to the people watching you know how would you encourage them to to just come and visit us come and see us and what would you say to them about uh, once they get here uh, what to expect you know i think when you step on property here you can you can feel the history feel the tradition feel um, see the views and feel how special this place is and we're gonna do our best to get you in with the right crowd. You know, we, we're we not clicky here, but we do have obviously different groups that we're gonna do our best to get you in. I think once you're here and you see how special this place is, it's gonna be hard to leave, hmm. especially seeing the views and the and um, and um, just the good times that can be had here. And, you know, something that I think about every day, going back to the history, it's amazing to me to think about how many people have stepped foot on this property and really like Al Capone. I mean, Al Capone was, was on this property at some point. So just, just, just thinking about the, the spe Arnold Palmer was here. He played a, uh, a, um, a match here in 1965. So, you know, just thinking about Sam Snead was here. So just thinking about how, how many special, how, how many special people were here that either play golf or, or took advantage of, you know, we had some, uh, we were kind of a small casino back in the day. So just taking advantage of the club amenities. I mean, people would come out to this part of town to get away from the town, mm -hmm. you know, to have that privacy. Uh, that's a special feeling and this is a special place. So I think once they step in, it's hard for them to leave. You know, you say that, and I, I think that's one of the things that I enjoy most is like when it's kind of like being able to get away without having to get away yeah. and i just come out here sometimes and just find a bench or a chair or somewhere and just sit and just enjoy the peacefulness of it all it is great i mean we're we're on a small piece of property here as far as you know uh, a country club goes but in a way that's that's so 
that's what separates us too, right? Is, is how small we are, how, how small the property is. You can see people, but you also get that quiet, right? You can come out at quiet times and, and really have the place to yourself. Hmm. Where can people find out more information about John City Country Club? Absolutely, so we're very active on social media right now, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. They can find all the information there, even TikTok. And then we're currently redoing our website right now. So johnsoncitycountryclub.com, they can go on there or they'd be happy to stop by and we'll be more than happy to give them an in-person tour as well. We'll be sure to put those links on the video and in the comments. Uh, wherever those comments are. <laughs> so, Tyler, thank you so Thanks much, man. Appreciate you. Absolutely.